Have you ever wondered how Roblox YouTubers make thumbnails like this without Blender or Photoshop? Well, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a Roblox thumbnail without using either of them. All you have to do first is open up a blank base plate on Roblox Studio. Okay, so now that you're in a blank base plate, what you want to do is you want to get the two plugins I put in the description, right? And you obviously want to go to plugins. Now what you're going to click first is the load character plugin. And now here where it says a username, what you want to do is you just want to put in whatever user's um, avatar you want to use in the thumbnail. So I'm going to use my own avatar. Now if your avatar uses R6, then click R6. If your avatar uses R15, then obviously click R15. I'm going to click R6. Okay. Now that we've got my avatar, what I am going to do now, right, is I'm going to go to Animation Editor. I'm going to click on my avatar, and I'm going to click Select. Now just click Anchor, if it gives you this warning. Now I'm going to click on the parts that I want to rotate. So let's say I want to rotate this arm. If I want to rotate the um, head, now I can rotate the head. So I'm just going to make a quick time lapse of me posing my own avatar, and then you can do it too. Now that you've posed your avatar the way that you'd like it in the thumbnail, what you want to do is you want to right click on the avatar right here, and you want to click export selection. Now in export selection, you can save this anywhere. I'm going to save it in my downloads file and I'm going to call it Thumbnail Jump Avatar and I'm going to click save. Now that you're in your files, you want to look for the one that you saved, right? There's going to be two of them. You're going to have the name.mtl and then you're going to have your saved name.obj or it will say type 3D object. So you want to click on this one, it also has this logo on it. So you want to right click on that one, then open with, and click on 3D Viewer. Now that you're in your 3D Viewer, you have to look at the avatar at the angle you want the thumbnail to look at. So if you want the avatar looking at the front of the thumbnail, like this. If you want to look to the side, you save it like this, and so on. So I want it to look at about right here. So I'm going to click File and Export Image. Now you can select PNG, and that's the best quality. Size and resolution, anything, I usually just choose this one because it's the highest quality. Now if it shows this grid, what you want to do is you just want to move the grid and add transparency. Now you want to click Export and you want to save it. Okay, so the next step is to open up any browser and you want to go to Pixlr dot com slash e slash now you want to click on open image and you want to click the grass and sky background that you saved now what you want to do is you want to click on add layer image and thumbnail jump avatar now if i resize this because this might be too big and position it the way you'd like it and if you want to add a glow to your avatar so that it has like a glowy border around it, all you have to do is select the actual avatar, not the background here on the right. I want to filter, outer glow, place this right here so that you'll actually be able to see the avatar. You can play around with this, this is obviously the size, feather is the softness, opacity is quite obvious. This just makes the avatar pop a little bit more. Now you can add your text. Choose the font, obviously. I'm going to use Glossy Sheen Shine. Now, also to add a border on this is super easy. You just go up here to Styles. Click on Outline. Choose the color that you want. I'm going to use black. That's what I usually use. If the text is white, that is. And then you just change the size to what you want. Now, I'm just going to rotate and resize this text so that it fits my thumbnail the way I like it. Okay, so now I'm just adding all the extra stuff that I want to add on the thumbnail. And what I like to add on my thumbnails are actually anime running lines as you'd see on the thumbnail on this video. So what you want to do is you just want to click here on new layer, go to image. 
and select the anime running lines and you're going to right click on that go on blend and you want to change that to screen now that you've got this thumbnail all you want to do is go on file save save it as a png again that's better quality save it as transparent 